everyone, welcome back into the Birdland Network. We are back with another video in our ongoing series of my top 25 Baltimore Orioles players of all time. And today we're up to number 14. Now again, real quick, what I'm looking for is you had to have played for the Orioles at least five years. How good of a player were you on the field? Obviously you had to have made an impact on the field. And then off the field, you know, what do the fans remember this player as? What kind of indelible mark did they leave on the fans and the, and the organization? And today, number 14 for me is Manny Machado. And of course, Machado was drafted by the Orioles. He was the third overall pick in the 2010 draft. He got to the majors in 2012. He was with the Orioles from 2012 to 2018. And of course, that's when they traded him to the Dodgers. During his brief stint with the Orioles, unfortunately, he did hit 162 home runs. I think his best year with the O's was probably 2016. He had 37 home runs, 96 RBIs, 40 doubles. He batted 294 and had 188 hits. Now, of course, he played third. He came up as a shortstop, but he played third for the Orioles because we had J.J. Hardy over there, who was like Mr. Consistent over at short. So Manny was really good with that. He went over to third, stayed there, didn't really complain about it, and I got to give him props for that. But I think the thing about Machado that really kind of is a bummer is kind of what could have been if he had stayed with the O's. If they were able to sign him long term, this is a guy that at number 14 could have been a lot higher on this list. But his his stay here was brief. But while he was here, it was very impactful. Uh, this guy is a potential Major League Baseball Hall of Famer as well. So there you go. Number 14 for me, Manny Machado. A lot of what-ifs, what could have been, which is kind of a bummer. It would have been nice if he had stayed. But he was really, really impactful while he was here. Now it's out to you. Where does Machado list for you on your list? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, we'll be back next week with another video. And until then, keep rooting for the birds and take care of yourselves and each other.